Speed bumps tend to be very divisive, and it's, of course, up to individual ward counselors. So I think we really need to relook at why do we do surveys. My question is to Commissioner Wright. The surveys, I think, create a false narrative in, uh, with residents. Uh, this hybrid model is causing grief because it gives two things that are happening. One, it gives a false sense to residents that somehow they have agency over this, and that's not necessarily the case. Or if it is, then we should be following a much stricter way of interpreting the results. This was an updated summary provided for the March 22nd meeting comparing the compromise option uh, offered by road safety that was implied by the voting of residents in Ward 2 compared to the maximum number of speed bumps. Uh, I'm here um, in support of Pat Mullen in terms of representing the interests of the residents in this area. Now, this is what happens in the Park Oral area when people found out what was going on south of Lakeshore. Could Councillor Mullen please indicate to the General Committee approximately how many residents subsequent to March 1st have communicated to her office their surprise and concerns with regards to the following? Uh, so I think that um, to go back out now and be as clear as we possibly can with some options is the appropriate way to, to go. But this reinforces that uh, it will be going out again and hopefully with some options that will allow people to choose. And I have uh, Councillor Carlson on the board. I just, uh, want, I've gone through this exact ex experience on second line in Meadowville Village and the first half people you hear from want all this stuff put in. The second half are those who go, what the hell happened over here? Now we've got all these stupid lumps and bumps on the roads. Some of the very people who called and asked for them to be installed are the same ones call back and say, oh my God, I had no idea. Blah. I'm like, well, be careful what you wish for. So yeah. I will go to Councillor Fonseca. I've had uh, similar experiences um, that Councillor Carlson has had, and I'm sure everyone on Council. Thank you, uh, Councillor, and, and you're certainly not alone. I think we've all been, been through this. I have myself as well with one particular area that I've had a petition of 100% of residents on the street signed the petition in favour. We went through public meetings, surveys, consultation, et cetera, et cetera. Once they were in, half the people who signed the petition then didn't want the speed bump. So it's a challenge. Uh, so we did go through our traditional uh, process uh, for engaging the community. Uh, and we've used that process in many different neighborhoods, as Councillor Carlson and, and Councillor Fonseca have, have commented on. And certainly, we don't want to put in a plan that's going to, you know, upset uh, the, the majority of residents. So we're open and willing to work on a, on a, on a revised plan and, and come up with what that looks like uh, in consultation with the Ward 2 office and Councillor Mullen. And then we'll go back out to the community and survey on that and, and allow for more dialogue and discussion. Um, so we're, 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 we're confident and prepared to work with the councillor on that, uh, Chair Mahoney, to eventually move forward with traffic calming uh, once we get to a plan that is uh, satisfactory to the community and, and to the War II office. Councillor Tejo, I don't think has come to a, a settled agreement with the Commissioner. Uh, councillor Tejo. Uh, thank you, through the Chair. Um, I think this is, you know, we've, some of us new folks here, uh, we've only been here 16 weeks now. But at the end of the day, sometimes a government, um, an agency, whatever it is, needs to come in and say, we need to impose uh, traffic calming. The, potentially, the decisions for our community are being made by two individuals who have a personal bias for a maximum number of speed bumps. I think councillors, um, Karen Rass and others, had an agreement for council purposes that councillors could not, would not oppose whatever they wanted to do with gas tax funds at a council meeting, regardless of what residents say. And I think that's fundamentally wrong for council. The reason that seems unethical is because the mayor and council would be accountable for exercising an oversight role over councillors who want to make decisions about speed bumps that is unrelated to what the residents want or, or, or safety factors but solely because they have some friends that have lobbied them for speed bumps, things like that. And these, this resolution 0119-2019 means councillors have tied their own hands and cannot use their vote to support the residents in another ward when a councillor is acting irresponsibly.
When I'm talking about the number of speed bumps that the, is implied by the vote, these are the options that road safety specifically told the residents that you can choose. So what they've done is they have effectively chosen that, and Commissioner Wright has taken the position that, well, that's nice that you've chosen what we offered you as options, but I'm, myself and Councillor Tejo have a personal preference for the maximum. Our Commissioner and our staff are experts in this area, and they, cho- they do what they th- feel is best for the safety and security of our streets. And just to make a, a point of clarification, you know, staff don't decide and, and get to select what traffic coming measures go in. Uh, staff review and make recommendations to council and ultimately council makes those decisions. I'm just wondering, you know, um, at the end of the day, traffic coming is a safety issue. So I think we really need to relook at why do we do surveys. Uh, if it's a safety issue, then it's not up for debate and we do what's right. And it seems to me that if it's a safety issue, regardless of what the community wants, the city is going to go ahead. Yeah, through you, Madam Mayor, to Councillor Demerley. So, Councillor, really, what's, what's really defined in terms of our traffic calming program is, is what's outlined in our corporate policy around traffic calming. Um, so, yes, we, can, we could go back and take a look at, you know, uh, are there any updates that we need to make to our traffic calming policy going forward um, to, to look at things like safety? Then we should be following a much stricter way of interpreting the results. And uh, Councillor Mahoney, I want to give him credit. He said, why don't we try temporary speed bumps? And I think that's an excellent idea too. Sometimes, and I have had one situation which we spoke about where uh, 100% of residents wanted them and then we put them in and people were like, oh, I don't really like them. But once they're in, they're in and you can't take them out. So. I don't want another cascading. All that happens is parallel streets start to get the problem that the original street had. And I think that's an excellent idea to put temporary speed bumps in for a couple seasons. I think that's the better way to do a practical consultation with the residents. But at the end of the day, sometimes a government, um, an agency, whatever it is, needs to come in and say, we need to impose uh, traffic calming. And to Councillor Mahoney, please. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And just just because I was mentioned, I do understand that the concern with um, putting speed bumps in one area uh, and then they use it as a, uh, a cut through. So I just we just last week passed Bay Villa, or the week before, which was a, a direct result of uh, speed bumps on Metcalf and Credit Valley Road. And the only kind of through was Bay Villa. So now we've got them on Bay Villa, we've got them on Metcalf, we've got them on Credit Valley. Um, so I think we've blocked it all off now, um, but, but that was the challenge. It was the unintended consequences. And, and just on the, the temporary ones, I know it's something that we, we have talked about. Um, and maybe, and again, it comes down to cost and, and all of those different things. But um, They're also looking at the temporary ones in Westwood Square right now, which is less expensive for them than paving. These are certainly controversial at times. Uh, it supports certainly looking at the temporary. Thank you. And to Councillor Fonseca. I think maybe the best thing to do would be to come back with, to include temporary, potentially temporary speed bumps. Speed bumps tend to be very divisive and it's of course up to individual ward councillors. Uh, Councillor Tejo. Uh, thank you through the chair. Um, I think this is, you know, we've, some of us new folks here, uh, we've only been here 16 weeks now. I think the temporaries are a good idea.